All right, everybody, it's time to spin that wheel again. My name is Peter Fasciano. You're watching Whiskey is a Journey. And this segment is called a sip it or skip it. If you guys are not familiar with this, I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. Spin the wheel, pull it off the shelf, do a quick review, and let you guys know if I'm going to continue sipping on the bottle and replace it when it's gone, or if I'm going to continue sipping on it until the bottle's gone and then skip it and move on to something else. If all that sounds good, like, subscribe, share, comment down below, do all those things that YouTubers want you to do, and let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we're doing today. All right, Dewar's White Label, blended scotch. Let's go ahead and pull it off the shelf, pour it, and let you guys know what I think of it. All right, really quick, a little bit of history with Dewar's White Label with me. Well, not necessarily me, but with my family. This is what my aunt, my uncle, my mother, this is what they drank while they were in their 30s, 40s, 50s. So let's go ahead and pour it. Let you guys know if this is an old person's drink. Don't say that I said that. Don't tell them that I said that. Or if this is just a overlooked, good, solid, blended scotch. Sweet on the nose, a little bit of smoke to it, peppery, very mild. I think this is 40% if I'm not mistaken, 40% ABV. This has gold and prize, 500 medals, John Dewar's and Sons. All the information for the whiskey is right here along with my sip it and skip it. On the second nosing, everything's still there, very light on the nose. Let's get that first sip down the hatch, see what we're dealing with. That's very mild, very sweet, a touch of spice, not a very long finish. I don't have the presence of smoke like I do on the nose. Dare I say, not a bad starter blended scotch. I don't think the nose comes across on the palate. Just in case, let's get that second sip down and see what we're dealing with again for a second time. Yeah, just very pleasant. Not anything outstanding, but it's difficult to pick this apart and find something that's not really favorable. But again, it's also not very robust. The finish isn't very long. It's just a very average scotch. Along with the scotch, there's always going to be this back history, especially if, you know, in my situation, like I had mentioned, my mother, my uncle, my aunt, this is their go-to whenever they went out to bars. When we got to the age that we're able to join them, or even just at family parties, we always see this, and they poured it and they drank it over ice. As a young person, you don't, you don't look at scotch as a young person's drink. So there was a little bit of a negative connotation to this, just like when I'm looking at wild turkey, it's something that my grandfather drank, or it's an old person's drink. But now that I'm of the age that I'm at, and I've gotten into whiskey, a lot of that negativity surrounding a specific label has gone out the window. I have a little bit more of a refined taste. I'm not saying that you have to have a refined taste to enjoy whiskey, but I've learned to appreciate all of the different styles that are out there. And that's why my whiskey channel is Whiskey Promiscuous. I'm not just looking at single malt scotches. I'm into everything. Bring it my way, I'll drink it. Let's get that last sip down. And I think I have a decision on whether this is a sip or a skip for me. Just to reiterate this, the nose is much better than the palate. Not a lot going on. It's very soft on the palate. This is coming in at uh, $18.99 in Phoenix, Arizona. Because of the price, because of how soft it is, this is going to be a sip for me. It's definitely going to take me quite a while to get through this bottle, so I'm not worried about replacing it. It's widely available. It's very inexpensive. It has enough flavor maybe to get somebody into the idea of a blended scotch. Definitely not gonna break the bank. You might wanna throw it into a mixer, have it on ice. It's one of those easy sippers that you're not gonna be disappointed in. And to use that term, a starter whiskey, this might be one that you're looking at. But again, everybody's palate is different. Everybody's coming into the scotch or the whiskey world in a different position. So I encourage you, Try anything and everything. If it's in front of you, try it. You're gonna to start to develop your palate, figure out what you like, what you don't like, figure out your preferences, and then just go from there. All right, before I get out of here, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Dewar's White Label. Do you think it is a good starter scotch? Would you sip it? Would you skip it? Let me know. And I guess with all that being said, enjoy your journey. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.